viewers, I've had one question that keeps on cropping up every now and again, and it's quite a serious question, and that is, can you run an industrial size laser with all the necessary uh, equipment that it requires on solar power? Well, we're going to answer that question today. And this is what you need to do it. So without buying thousands of dollars worth of solar panels, putting them on the, your roof and have an electrician come and plumb them in to a substantial deep cycle battery set and then a very expensive inverter with pure sine wave all up that could cost you ten twelve thousand dollars or even more now what I have done uh, and I don't specifically use it for running my laser you understand but it's just purely for backup power for when the lights go out um, in this case this is a Bluetti and uh, it will supply 2.4 kilowatt which is what this laser and all its equipment to run it needs to draw as a peak of so with this I had 350 watt solar panels which unfold and so you charge this up this is full of lithium iron phosphate batteries so it's not the type that goes on fire easy so you store the photovoltaic energy in this and this then can produce 240 or if you're in America 110 to supply equipment that you have around the house or out camping or something like that so I'll just give a little demonstration uh, I'll take this or rather the solar panels outside and put this on charge and collect some photons I just had to shut the uh, iris down on the camera because it was nothing but glare out here and this is what the panels look like so roughly they're what about um, two and a half meters long which is um, well about the same in yards you know what is it 10 feet something like that and they're about um, four foot high or in in width um, very very good panels you know I they're some of the best panels I've I've, I've uh, ever sort of work with okay so I've run the blue 80 down to actually it was 82 percent and I I bought a package deal uh, which was um, some fold fold up solar panels and uh, they're rated at 350 watts and it's 11 o'clock on Sunday morning and it's putting out or putting in 326 watts which is actually pretty impressive that uh, you know they're rated at 350 and then putting in nearly their maximum as I'm sure a lot of you know it's very very rare that you get near maximum or 90% plus of your solar array generation so these are particularly good panels on the Bluetti okay and here we are about an hour oh, maybe uh, uh, hour and actually 10 minutes or so and we're at a hundred percent which is 
pretty damn good. Canabluetti run a full size industrial laser with all its equipment, including flat screen TV, uh, air conditioner down there, compressor over the back, extractor, filtration system, and the laser itself. Let's find out. Let's bring that up. That's the filtration system. Let's start the job. Okay, let's go. It's actually cut in the name Bluetti. I'll take the camera off its tripod and hand handheld it and hand hold it and take it over there. Okay, so in standby mode, so that's just with the uh, flat screen, the computer, and the auxiliaries uh, on, I mean, the internal computer the, of the laser and just the illumination. Uh, and the circuit boards inside, it's running at well, you know, 215 watts, which isn't bad, but there we have Blue Eddy. Perfect cut, straight through. And this is, um, oh, I think, 10 millimeter. Not bad. Pretty efficient, actually, the uh, Thunder Laser. So, absolutely, definitely, the Blue Etty will run my industrial laser. So, there you are. Absolutely no problem at all. This particular unit will run this industrial laser and all its add-on equipment to make it work for approximately 50 minutes, something like that. That's running flathead. Um, you can get add-ons to this up to 9,000 watt hours. Now this particular unit is a 2,048 watt hours. So that means it'll supply flat out 2.4 kilowatt for about 50 minutes thereabouts. So that proves it. When the lights go in your workshop and you have sensitive equipment like this industrial laser you can get yourself out of trouble fairly cheaply without having to install solar on the roof of your workshop or your house for that matter you can get away with using something like this so if you've liked the video today please like subscribe and if you really like what i'm doing in my workshop you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind the channel that allow me to do things like this so uh it's bye for now